Hello there guys, Bailey here. Obviously, um, as you guys can see, I'm not sitting down, and I'm not in the car, and I'm not doing anything else. But, as you guys can see behind me, my toy collection and display has kind of grown too much and gotten out of hand and I kind of want I've been wanting to declutter some items I've bought a whole bunch of items off Mercari which is a website that's amazing but like terrible for me because I buy everything off of it so yeah um but today we're gonna be Marie Con is it Marie Kondo what is it it's Marie something I've never even watched the show I'm gonna look it up Okay, Marie Kondo. It is Marie Kondo. I've never watched the show, but like, I think everyone and their mother knows what it is. But I'm gonna be Marie Kondoing my toy collection because I have a lot, and that's not even it. I have boxes. I have stuff, and I'm just. And I have a lot of packages coming in as well, and so I'm just gonna go through everything and. If it's items that I absolutely need and love, then I keep them. But I know I do have some items that I'm like, eh, like I like this character and I love this character. But like might as well get money off of it rather than keeping it and like have it collect dust when I can just buy more items that I want. And I need to save money because the San Diego, San Diego Comic Con is happening and the Funko Pop exclusives are kind of, I love them. There's a Disenchantment one that I want really bad at being. And there's two Rick and Morty exclusive. One's a tracksuit Jerry, and the other one's not, like, said yet. Like, they're keeping it a surprise, but the tracksuit Jerry was leaked. And then I want the Mr. Prickle Pants from Toy Story. But that one's a maybe, so I'm not 100% sure about that one. But I do want the Disenchantment and the two Rick and Morty ones, for sure. So I'm trying to sell items to save for that, which is after my birthday, so I should have some birthday money. But, you know, still. And I have a lot of... Funko Pops now, as you guys can see, all right there. Where the heck is the finger going? All right there. Um, I wasn't a huge Funko Pop collector in the beginning. I kind of avoided them, to be honest. I was like, eh, I don't really need them. I like blind bags. But I bought one, and then I bought another, and then I bought another, and then I bought another, and now I just can't stop. So I really like them. I recently bought probably like 10 to 15 Rick and Morty Funko Pops off the Mercari like secondhand sellers but yeah so we're gonna be going through everything one by one obviously the process is I have to clear it all and I'm gonna my goal is to put it all on the floor um the one thing I will keep everything of is my Disney Dorables because I worked so freaking hard to complete those sets and they're not making any more Disney Dorables they announced or they didn't announce it Disney Dorables has the worst marketing team in the world in the whole entire world I swear like I literally had a message Moose Toys privately and they said that Disney Dorables is no longer um gonna be creating a series I just think the Disney Dorables team might have messed up or something like that because they did do a lot of duplicates from series one to series two like the same movie which I think is stupid because there's so many Disney and Pixar movies they could have chose from and they chose like Moana again and Peter Pan again. Why do we need Peter Pan? And why did we need like Goofy and Dave? I don't know. I think they just messed up with series two and Moose Toys dropped them. And their marketing team sucks. And like their publicity people suck. So I just think the Disney Dorable team might have messed up and Moose Toys was like, nope. So I'm keeping all my Disney Dorables because I really want them. And then maybe later on in life, and when I don't want them, I'll sell them as full sets. So yeah let's get to clearing all of this oh i have to take it before thank god i remembered oh my god also sorry my face is ugly you're not gonna be seeing a lot of it so yeah sorry also my fans on get over it sorry no 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 sorry As you guys could see here, these are all my Funko Pops. I'm not getting rid of any of these. A lot of these I just bought. My plan here 
is I want to move this. Dana painted that and I love that, but I kind of want to move it somewhere in here, like behind this. And I don't know. I need to figure that out because I want this wall to be all Funko. Keeping this, that's a thing for fortunes. I want to take this down and I want to take that hook down because I want everything to be, like I want this wall to be on my Funko Pops all the way to the roof to Shoki. But if I move this up, then I can, it can be a row of five instead of a row of four and it'd be shorter right now and it'd be better. So I'm gonna try to remove these. I'm gonna try to remove this without putting a hole in my freaking wall like I did up there. So. sue them that off successfully as you guys can see now i'm gonna try to take this off which is stuck on there by sticky stuff i'm gonna try to move some of these pins to this board and rearrange it and just have one board because i don't plan on buying pins anymore this is what like. this ended up looking like we only got rid of these four guys which i like them but i'm okay with them being okay like gone you know so that's what that turned out to be now let's put these or now let's get rid of this put these Funko Pops back on this wall and then start on this situation I'm not going to move the Tsum Tsums because those are going to stay there I already kind of decluttered those might get rid of one or two just depends um, but we're going through all of this and the major thing are these guys so let's just freaking do it so I just wiped down this entire table cleared it off and now we're gonna put the Funko Pops back over there. this guy and I always debate taking him out of the box because the box is like bent in the back it's like dented in and it's like really bad damage but I'm not sure I think I'm gonna keep him in the box for now so there we go so yeah I like that much better because it's not skinny and tall it's more wide obviously and I just think that looks better and I also have more Funko Pops coming in so this is just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and for you guys to see that happen go follow my instagram account because i post everything that i receive on there i post pictures daily too maybe so if you guys like toys and are here because of the toys then go follow my instagram account i'd really appreciate it so yeah that's this little time to figure out what i'm doing with everything else. now i think we're gonna empty everything off of here so let's just see how that goes Where we're at so far i cleared everything off this is all like my toy story stuff um 
these were all like the keychains and stuff that were inside here. I ended up putting my lotions in a drawer because I don't really use lotion. I just kind of had it out. But I just have my three perfumes and my one stitch perfume that I never use, but it's so cute. And then I was able to display this guy better. I have more room here. Room here. Whoa, hello. I have room here for stuff. And I have room up here. I kept these Tsum Tsums. I did get rid of some accessories and I decided to put them in here and now this is all filled up so that looks really nice. Um, this is what I decided to get rid of. I know, Stitch Plush. I know, Stitch. Stitch is my absolute favorite but I'd be okay. I'm not a huge plush person. I'm okay with getting rid of one plush. Um, an Eeyore Tsum Tsum. I just bought him because he was in a set of six and I got them for six dollars and I was like might as well. Got rid of two three Tsum Tsums with accessories and some accessories. This guy I'm going to throw away because he's full of water. This guy, one of the whoa, Vinylmations also came in a bundle. I think they're worth quite something so I'm going to look this up before I sell it. Um, got some domes and yeah, ignore that. That's all my prescription medication, I promise. I'm like, remember my health is bad so <laughs> but this is all the stuff I got rid of of items that were here not completely done yet I want to go through this I think I'm gonna get rid of this Mr. Potato Head I like him but there's like bite marks in it and it's obviously like ripped off something and it's really cheap like it just like it feels super light and I'm okay with not having him so I'm gonna get rid of him as well go through everything one by one make sure I want everything Try to put them up, and then we're going to clear this bad boy. I'm also keeping all the ugly dolls, because that's the whole entire set, and I really like that set. So, yeah, let's see what's next. I decided to organize this. I put I put that wood thing in the back there. You can't really see it, so I'm kind of sad, but it's there. Um, I put these stitch toys back. I hung these up. The Rick and Morty one's there. Stitch and Angel there. Put some fun Toy Story figures here. I have these Zero Five Surprise Cart full with some items in the basket full of some items um these are like little funko pens i put them in there i kept this guy here this is all like my setup i don't really use the desk like for anything really besides when i do my makeup if i do my makeup or if i'm filming so it's just kind of like nothing's going to get knocked over or anything you know so this is how my desk is set up I want to put some more fun stuff here. I'm going to now take this down and decide what I want to keep in here. I'm only going to keep my favorites. Like, these guys will probably not be in there. These will probably be in some boxes. Um, like, they're just, some of them are just not my absolute favorites. These two rows will stay here, though, because these are, like, the exclusive rows. So I'll keep those there. And then we shall decide. Those will stay up there, though. I'm actually going to add two more. So, yes. Let's take them down. Okay, so this is the finished look as of now for these displays. I added two more of these little tiny guys. I taped them because I don't want them to fall. Um, I just kind of replaced these with all my new Toy Story toys right here. Kept just my favorites from Series 2 right there because Series 2 was my favorite more than Series 1 even though there was some 
you know, issues with it. But I like the characters a lot more. So there's two rows of Series 2. The Series 2 Special Edition. Series 1 Special Edition. So my favorite Series 1. The Ugly Doll sets. I have some mini Tsum Tsums. I have some of the new um, Toy Story 4 sets. And some of the old Toy Story sets. Just mixed in here. Got some Rick and Morty Pint Size Heroes. Some more Disney Tsum Tsums. Some Shopkins Series 11 Special ed or Family sets. Got two Yummy Worlds, my Series 2, like, favorites right there. These are Series 1, but those are, like, the play sets. I bought those off Mercari without the play sets. And these are just some random favorites that fit up there. Gonna see if I can fit some more items in here from my boxes, which we're gonna go through now. So now, I have these three boxes. I don't know if I've shown these. I've shown these in one of my car vlogs, because I bought them when I was doing a car vlog but I have these three boxes this one has this all one. my keychains and key rings which we'll be going through this one has all my other figures like that like ones that don't have um keychains I guess so we'll go through that and then this one let's see if I can get it has all the food items oh like the Shopkins, the Zero Five Surprise, mainly Shopkins because I cannot find Zero Five Surprise. And yeah, this one I probably won't be getting rid of any. So this is all the keychains. Um, I don't have full sets of many besides maybe one or two. I know I have a full set of a, the, the Toy Story one. I'm now buying the Toy Story 4 ones. I'm waiting for those to come in the mail. I think I'm going to do an unboxing video, me unboxing, because I have so many... Mercari packages and box lens packages and stuff like that coming in but I don't know what I have full sets of I don't know if I have any I know I don't have duplicates but we're just gonna see what I got in here so let's dig through these and take them out one by one These are all, oh my goodness, these are all my figural key rings. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of any, and I think I should because I just think I should. Um, I think I am going to get rid of her. This is Helga from Hey Arnold. I just don't think I'm the biggest fan of the show. She is cute and all, but I like, I would never ever use this on a keychain. All the other ones I could technically see myself using on a keychain. I'm not going to because I don't want to ruin them. I also think I'm going to get rid of these two guys. They are super cute and their heads like move. Let's see if I can get it. But out of the set, I just wanted Forky. I ended up getting these guys first and these guys were $8 a piece. And they're actually just so tiny for $8. These are $7 like normally like these figure key rings that are really sturdy really nicely built have a really good key ring and these guys were eight dollars and they're just not my absolute favorite their heads move around they are really cute but i just don't think i'm gonna keep them i did end up getting forky which is the only one that i wanted they're actually easy pretty easy to feel around but when i first got them i was just going for a quick trip so i just grabbed them and go so i do think i'm gonna try to get rid of these guys and then the last one I think I'm going to get rid of is this Olaf one. He's cute and all. Olaf is just an okay character for me. He's really cute. But um, Frozen's not like my thing. I like Frozen, but I'm okay with not having all of their merchandise. So I think I'm going to try to get rid of him just to get some money. These are all my Yummy World keychains. I only have two Yummy World vinyl figures. But these are all my keychains. And I absolutely love these. Yummy World has to be... I would say my number one favorite things to purchase and collect. Now that we're done with this big box full of keychains, I didn't get rid of much. For possibly five, I might get rid of another one. Not sure. Um, we're going to hop into this box, which is another really pretty box that has a lot of figures in it, which I'm, I love, but I do like keychains and I do like stuff like that. But we are going to see about these. Might get rid of more of these than I 
expect. So let's get, let's go through this. This is my series two Disney adorables that are not on display. I'm just gonna add the rest that I just took off of display into here. These are series two Disney adorables. So these are all the ones that are not on my display for series two. Also, I have these like Minnie Mouse little house sets, kitchen things, and I think I'm going to get rid of these because I don't really care for these at all. So these are a whole bunch of checklists. I might go this through this and just get rid of some because some of them I thought I wanted to collect and that I ended up not caring so much about the collection. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. Now we're down to four checklist i have my disney adorables completed checklist in my drawer because those have marks all over them and i think it's funny so now we're getting rid of all these checklists i have this little guy it's a squeeze a mole or whatever they're called this came in a pack of three i'm getting rid of two of them i like this one this one's a little spider i thought it was like a vampire everyone like laughed at me on my instagram this is a pick me pop donut guy and I think I'm going to sell him, but he's so cute and he smells so good. But I don't think I'll ever buy these again. And so I think I'm just going to get rid of this one, but I really like the case. I'm just going to get rid of it. These are all my Smushy Mushy baby or besties inside of a Smushy Mushy case. I'm going to keep all those. This is the sushi tin. I just kept one of the tins. There's some stickers. I have a sticker in there. And these are the mini smushy mushy guys. I have one of those oops, oopsie poopsie cups. I have one of these Doc McStuffins. Uh, hello. Things and I just have two of the figures in here. I think there's another figure I have. Yeah, this one's a Doc McStuffin figure as well. I have this Tsum Tsum's rocking horse thing that I got in an advent calendar that's really cute but I don't think I'll ever use it to display anything so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have a lot of I have this figure I also have a Chucky and Tommy one which I have displayed on my desk because I like this one but I think I'm gonna get rid of Hey Arnold because it's a nostalgic show but I never was really into I have a lot of the new Toy Story ones that I will be keeping of course these guys are new oh my god I have more than I thought these are all brand new from the new Funko mystery minis this guy from Rick and Morty there's three. Oh, another one four oh another one five I like those so I'm not getting rid of those these are from those ramen cups I have three separate of the ramens but I like these guys so I'm going to be keeping them too this is just play-doh from the lost kittens oh here's another one of those the toy story ones I have three of the Thai figural characters these are super duper duper cute and I, I love these little tags. I think I'm going to get rid of the owl one because that's my least favorite. Um, I do like these two though so I'm going to keep them. I have two of these Mashems. This one's a Patrick one and these are from the memes. This one's a Spongebob one. I already got rid of the other ones that I didn't want that I got but I'm going to keep these two. I have this um, Toki Doki Hello Kitty. This was like a, I forgot what it was but it's like a, it's a jam. It's a mix between Hello Kitty and another Toy. I forgot what it was, but yeah. Then I have some lost kittens. Oh, lost kittens. These guys are just really cute. I kept these guys, so I just have three. I have these sushi car guys. This one's the bigger one, and these ones are from the mini ones that just came out. I like the mini ones way, way, way better. So I think I might get rid of the big one and just keep the mini ones. These are some fuzzy Tsum Tsums. I think these are UK exclusive Tsum Tsums. I bought a whole bunch. I already got rid of some. I just kept some of my favorites. 
I don't know why Piglet's in here. I don't really care for him. I'm going to get rid of Piglet. I have Rue. He's so cute. But these don't really fit my display. They're a bit bigger than the U.S. medium-sized Tsum Tsums. And I also have these four, which are the Japanese medium-sized Tsum Tsums. And I already got rid of some again. But I just kept some of my favorites. These also don't fit in our displays because these are a bit bigger. These are some of the Disney... Christmas Tsum Tsums that I got from the advent calendar. I think I'm just going to get rid of the Daisy and Donald set because I don't really care for them as characters by themselves and I already have like uh, the glitter versions of them so I think I'm just going to get rid of these two. Here's another UK exclusive. This one's like a rare Sully. I have another Christmas one of Goofy but this one's really cute. This one's just a regular sadness one. I like her, but I have her in a metallic version, but I think I'm going to keep her as a regular version. I like that one. And then these three are all UK, I mean, no, Japanese exclusive medium-sized Tsum Tsums, so that's fun. I like the Polly Pockets, and it comes with a little girl and a mini Shopkin, and I just wanted this peach one, and that's the only one I bought, so I'm just going to keep it. Here, I have some Num Nom figures from different series. Here is some more Num Noms. From different series I don't know what series these are I have there they have so many I have two of these moj moj of the squeeze I didn't get many of these so I'm just gonna keep both of them I have a Sebastian vinyl nation I'm gonna look up the cost of this and if it's worth it then I'll sell it but if not then I'll keep it because I do like him so I will look that up and then lastly I have a ornament Tsum Tsum decoration and that's it for this box. And I think that's it for what I'm going to get rid of. I only have a couple items. I will show you, show you guys the pile after. And let me just put everything away real quick. Oh, this is everything I ended up getting rid of. Doesn't seem like a lot. But it kind of is. It made a difference up here. It made a difference in my boxes. Like, you know. It made a difference. It doesn't look like a lot. But it is. This is after. What my display and what my desk looks like now. This is probably my favorite part. I think this looks awesome. Um, this is nice and cleaned up. I like that this is no longer lotions and perfumes. I have some empty space up there for more items. And, yeah. So now, at 11.30 at night, five hours later, I'm finally done Marie Kondoing my toy collection um i have decided that i'm going to be doing whatever i want with this channel if i want to post a, to post a toy video i will if i want to post a car vlog i will if i want to post a uh, unboxing then i will you know because i always like stress like if i want this to be a toy channel if i want this to be something funny or if i you know like because i watch a lot of different type of videos i watch emma chamberlain and the dolan twins i watch james charles i watch mia maples i watch ps toy reviews i watch motorcycle vlogs like i watch a lot of things like consecutively is that the word i don't know but i think i'm just gonna have this channel be a mix of whatever whatever i want it to be if i want to do a makeup video that day i dang will if i want to do a toy unboxing i will so just if you want to be a part of this mad this madness then please subscribe because i would really highly appreciate it i have to go edit this video now so i want to say thank you guys so much for watching please comment down below if you send any questions or video requests i will have my social media usernames in the description box down below i recommend you follow me in those because i post on this quite often especially my toy account and if you obviously watch this video because you like toys then please follow my toy account which is bailey's blind bags and I post on there daily, if not, I mean, one to two videos, one to two pictures a day. So I recommend you follow me on there. And yeah, I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.